Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Reds since 2003, Great American Ballpark. Today it's the finale of this four-game set between the San Diego Padres and the Cincinnati Reds. Anthony DiSclafani, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the Your ball here. Please. Dan Plezak, what's a the word on him? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling Four. lately. In his last Number three starts, seven. he has a whip a of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. What's the word on them as they try to split the series, Mark? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, well, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a third. different direction. You cannot spot. continue Number to ride that seesaw of win one, lose one. This team has to get hot. Starts today. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. No balls in one strike. Mm -hmm. at second here with one man out. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Hey, I love the location right there. Maybe that extra base hit was a big wake-up call to get it going. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? The first you basement. have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for awesome. the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. The first baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Two hits and 13 at-bats in the series so far. He's set. Here it comes. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Di Sclafani is a strikeout master on the mound. It will not be uncommon to see him reach a double-digit strikeout total when he goes out there. He uses that to his advantage in just about every start. He sure does, Matty V. And I think one of the keys for him is he gets ahead in the count early. You'll know if he's on when he gets strike one, strike two early on, and then he expands it. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Padres leave one. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Blake Snell is on the mound for the Padres in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. So coming to the plate, number four. He'll lead He'll lead things red. off here in the bottom half the of the right first. Fielder. Number four. First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pham sprinting after it. He's there and records the first out. Time now for a look at the hometown Red starting lineup card in this one. Mark Rosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. 
I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Joey Votto. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this series has been a little bit of back and forth, dropping the first one, finding a way to battle back, and then dropping the third one of this four-game set. Let's see if they can find a way to tie this rubber game. Maddie, you know what, Dero, this is one of those if you can win game it. four of this series right. and walk away with a split. Oh, you almost feel good. like you won this series. This is a big one here today. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. These are the moments you can't relax. You never know when you're going to be able to score a few runs off a great pitcher. Here's the spot right here early. Have to find a way. You're happy with one, but if someone can catch a gap, this game could get out of hand pretty quick. One ball and two strikes to count. Votto at second with two down. Two and two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More ahead. Here's Will Myers. Comes into this one. Leading off for San Diego. Four, four, eight, the right fielder, number five, Will Coming to the plate now, Wes Rivas, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Wes Rivas. First delivery to him on the way, and no swing apparently, ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something, middle of the plate, and drive some runs in. Now the 1-0. He is looked at for the first strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Got it, got it. Standing in, Blake Blake. Snell. We'll see if he can deliver here. Runner still at second and third with one away now. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Play ball. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The three-two pitch, and he misses here, ball four, and somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way to this start. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. 
This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side, so out of the box he's going to get a good break. He might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. Pham on third, Kim on second, Snell is over at first with one away. Oh. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. The 2-1. Liner toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Man. 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Here comes the 1-0. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Castellanos will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So two runs on just one hit in the inning. No errors, and two left. We'll go. Nick Castellanos now. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Moving under it, Rissom, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. All right, guys, let's take a look at how to spot the lineup on D. And guys, I want to focus on the guy on the mound because he brings gold to the party, and I can't say enough how crisp and how effective a defense plays when the pitcher can field his position. There's nothing better than a pitcher who can help himself in the field. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time. But it's an infield single. And now it looks like they want some time to review that one here. So they'll check with their replay guys. The call on the field was safe. But it was definitely a bang bang play. And tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah Matt. Definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle so we'll see what the decision is from the dugout whether they want to challenge or not and indeed they will elect the to Padres challenge the call challenge so the umpires the on replay play. duty in Manhattan will review the play from all available angles to come to a final decision okay we're going to get one more look at it right here is there enough video evidence to overturn this call you know I think there is the shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first Looks like a well-used challenge. Upon video review, the call of safe at first base has been overturned. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. Out. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Hopped up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go... Leading off from San Diego, the shortstop, number 23. Digging in now, Kim, he comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point.
Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. One oh. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. That pole getting a little deeper now. It's two and oh. On the ground to the left side. Throw won't get him. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Into the box now. Wes Rivas. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. And good for him. Wes Rivas has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Here comes the red skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering of booze after what can be described as really a subpar performance. Now, Luis Castillo is going to come on to Number pitch 58. here and in just the third inning Luis. you have to think he'll be asked to Castillo. eat some innings. For the Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. In now, Blake Snell. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Plate, one ball, one strike. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool a guy. It's one and two. Castillo, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. The one-two. Line drive to center field. And now a diving effort, but this is off the center fielder's glove. Well, that's his the first major league hit. There might not be too many more to come considering he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. Play ball. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher the here. Number six. Phillip. Ozer. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Late that time for a strike. Irvin. 
swings and throws from the right side and stands at five foot ten. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count and it runs full now. Now on 3-2 and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing three. with. Strike three called and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Alanis gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to. Three. Out. Three. Three. And hit him. First base. Striding into the box, Nick Senzel. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike one to start the at-bat. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Behind 0-2 now. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Three left for Cincinnati. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. Digging in and looking. Leading off for the Padres, the right fielder, number five, Will Meyer. Three. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Stepping into the box, number four. Last time through was a base hit. Number four. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Chopped to third. He's got it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. Padres lead it six to nothing. Now, Michael Lorenzen enters red. now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right Michael. where it is. Lorenzen. So striding in, Trent Grissom. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready for another chance. Lead Christian Cologne. No hits in three the tries baseman. so far. He struck Chris, out yeah. once. Ah. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Ball one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. The one two. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one down now. The first baseman. Digging in 19. once again. Joey Votto. Joey. One for two with a double on his line Votto. thus far. Hey. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Pham. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, number nine. Ready now for Cincinnati. Mike Mustakis. Mike. 0 for 3 with a couple Move. of strikeouts Dark for him to this point in the ballgame. And a fastball is in there for strike one. 
Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Even one and one count to Mustakis. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. One and two now. And he fouls this one off. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Here now the 2-2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2-2 one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Reds are down in order. They still find themselves down six zip. Stepping in. We got for San Diego. The right Stevenson comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Riding in once again, Kim. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly in high in the air. There it goes. See ya. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, d what do you make of all this? d I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there. Now back. Ball. Catcher. Ow. West. Reva. Three. Yeah. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. He now got back. under one and popped the out catcher. his last time up. Tucker. Barnhart. Popped high in the air. Number nine has a play. Nice Makes the problem, catch, Mo. and that's the ball game. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? A nine-nothing shutout final in this ball game. San Diego took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Blake Snell notches his third win of the year. Anthony DiSclefani struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. The I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB ballgame. The Show for, the for more.